Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine. Welcome to my craft room. Um, I hope I'm in shot for you and that you're not seeing my head. I have filmed this once already and uh, I was completely out of shot. I did try and um, download an app on my iPad so that I could monitor what I was filming from my phone, but my iPad is that old. Um, it won't install the right operating system so let's give this a go so today's little video is all about twinches what is a twinchy well a twinchy is simply a two inch work of art in your style and it can be paper and card based or it could be fabric based um, embroidery or beading or whatever your style is i'm doing paper crafting today so I've gone ahead and I've cut myself a two inch piece of black card. Those of you that have been with me a while know that I like to um, have a little black border around everything that I do. And um, then I've gone ahead and cut from one of my backgrounds a piece of card that is one and seven eighths of an inch so that I get a nice little border all the way around like that. This background has been made with Distress Ink in speckled egg and weathered wood with a little bit of um, pixie powder, cosmic shimmer in pewter for a little bit of added bling. Now, what I'm going to do to add a little bit of depth to this is use a background stamp from this la rather lovely stamp set by Al and Create. I think that's how you say it. Um, got some lovely sentiments you gave me wings and I can fly dream big fly high there's a gorgeous moth there um, this is kind of sprig of foliage it's got fly away written on it really beautiful but I'm going to use this um, background that has a little bit of text on it but is honeycomb and a little bit grungy and I'm going to come in with my speckled egg just ink that up and I'm going to make sure the text is the right way up although it doesn't really matter because I'm probably going to cover the text up anyway and just stamp down this is quite a new ink pad so uh, it's still quite juicy and stamp up again I'm just going to go around and um, do a little bit of extra stamping randomly where uh, I've got a little bit of white space. There we go. Just put that to one side. And then I'm going to come in with my weathered wood. I couldn't be bothered to get a blending tool out. So I'm not very good at blending. Blending is something that I need to practice. I've noticed that Ranger have brought out some little pads that are domed. So I might, um, might have to give those a go. Just going to go around the edge with a little bit of weathered wood. I've got a little bit of white space where my background off the block hadn't uh, reached the card. There we go, that's that. Put my little sponge on there so I don't lose it. And then um, I found in my stash some paper dolls um, from Tim Holtz, and um, I've got to make a card for somebody in America and um, they've got a dog and I thought postage and everything I'm going to send a small card with a note inside so I found these little cute paper dolls <laughs> Ella saw me sorting through a packet and she said they're so scary silly girl now these foam pads that I've got on the back of these um are very old and um, had lost their stick so I've had to stick them down with glue and I'm going to come back in with the glue if I can get the glue out of my glue bottle I'm very good at leaving glue open come on out you come there we go uh, just putting some spots of glue on there I'm trying to position it so that it looks like the little boy is patting the dog 
but I also want a bit of space because I want to add a few extra little bits and pieces I hope that you can see all right pop the little dog there so it looks as if the little boy's hand is patting the dog can you see that and then um, I'm really liking my rub-ons at the moment and I've got quite a, a collection from Tim Holtz I am a bit of a Tim Holtz fan um, and I found this little sentiment one of a kind because this lady is one of a kind but you can see you get all sorts of words on there you get two sheets in a pack uh, this one is called it hasn't got a name actually oh words this one's just called words you've got different sizes this is a really nice one I like this one I haven't I haven't wanted to open this one yet but this is called specimen you've got lots of little bugs and insects which is so tim holtz isn't it and really interesting words like curiosities um i should have sent i should have put that on uh, kirsten's card for kirsten's curiosity shouldn't i um and then i've just got the words tiny text this one is although some of it is a bit big I like things a bit smaller than that but you've got all kinds of words there you get two sheets in a pack and they come with a little remnant rub on tool as well so I think I'm going to oh I don't know whether to leave it all in one go I think I will on this occasion actually just in in terms of um speed sake let's just cut that little bit of extra off these can be a little bit fiddly but um it is coming off quite nicely i've got a little blob there of um a word from something else that i've cut so i just cut that off and i'm just going to place it kind of there let's make sure it's straight or kind of straight anyway all fingers and thumbs today I don't know what it is there that's not bad and then come in with my little tool rub that on and this will just go on probably a four by four inch card I think um, just you know being careful about postage I have spent quite a lot on postage recently building up a very nice relationship with a lady at our post office at our local post office she always remarks on my patterned envelopes right let's see if this is taken and the good thing about these is, is as you lift it off you can see if it hasn't taken and just lift it back down again and there you can see we've got one of a kind now I want a little bit of extra on this because um, just just because I'm me I'm going to put that there like that and open this for a bit of scrap paper I'm going to come down and reach for my heat tool you might have seen in um, an unboxing that I did that I bought this frontage from Stampendous I've used it a couple of times and I am so pleased I bought it because it gives a lovely, lovely effect. I'm not sponsored by these people. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, but you don't need embossing ink. And I'm just going to sprinkle little bits of it on my page. I want a little bit of concentrated down there and the odd dot somewhere else. And I'm just going to get my tweezers. I'm not very good at using these, but uh, I am getting a little bit better. I'm just going to hold that like that and heat my heat tool up. And what I'm going to do is heat this from underneath. And you'll see I've just popped this on um, dry card, no glue, no, no water, no nothing. So excuse the noise. 
oh hold on i've got a little bit of frontage on my dog and i don't think i want it on the dog there we go And it's just starting to melt. Sorry, I know that a lot of that was off shot and you couldn't see. But um, oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. And because it's aged silver, you've got a little bit, tiny little bit of rose gold going on in there but can you see the kind of molten metal effects you get and i absolutely love that i'm going to have another little play with this um just to see what else i can do with it but uh yeah i'm just going to pop this in here so i don't waste any i'm thinking that this little tub is going to last an absolute age but that is the aged silver and there we go that is my little twinchy completed and all I've got to do is mount it I'll do that off camera you don't need to see me do that but can you see how lovely that is I hope you can so um, the lovely woolly Steph has hosted a I think it's a birthday challenge um, to create a twinchy and I went a little bit mad because I absolutely loved making these and I've made eight <laughs> I've made them in kind of sets of two um, so this one here I've just used some words out of my Enid Blyton book she could imagine is a Tim Holtz clipping and I've just coated with a little bit of glossy accents although I don't know whether it's because my glossy accents is is old I, I don't know it, it's not coming out of the bottle very easily and I am preferring the uh, Nouveau drops clear at the moment but that's a photorealistic stamp on a Dilusions background I think it is it might be Rusty Car might be Sunset Beach I couldn't tell you which colour but it's got a little tiny bit of pink in it and a little button um, this one is a really old stamp of mine. It's a much bigger stamp than this. And that's the beauty of doing twinches. You don't need to have small things. You can take what you've got in your stash and use bits of it that are of interest to you. And because it's an eye, uh, I might even go over and do that bit in glossy accents, I don't know. Um, we've got Look You Can See, which again I've cut out of that Enid Blyton book and part of one of those photorealistic stamps on shrink plastic with just more eyes in the top corner for a little bit of interest. These next two are using the fish from Lavinia Stamps and uh, this is the background just like I've done except in Cosmic Shimmer, uh, I think it's Midnight Blue um, and a little bit of salty ocean with that background stamp that I've just showed you and a little tiny bit of a rub on there and then this fish is gorgeous he's a really handsome fellow and I showed this on my five top tools um, why I like a fine paintbrush and I've just gone in with a little bit of pixie uh, pixie powder cosmic shimmer pixie powder in I think it's aqua lagoon um, to fill in some of those spots and then the other spots I've gone in with a little bit of white Nouveau drops for a pop of colour and a little bit of text from my uh, French English pocket dictionary um, and then this is exactly the same except I haven't used um, Cosmic Shimmer on the actual fish I have used, I don't know whether the camera is picking it up those Nouveau drops in clear just to give some little bubbles coming out of the fish's mouth so I hope the camera is picking that up and then this is paper that I used from my stash um, craft work cards it's a little seahorse here I'm hoping that you can see that um, and I've used a little bit of silver sparkle pen for his eye with a little drop of uh, Nouveau drops again an old postage stamp just backed onto some card the actual paper I sprayed with gold glimmer spray 
Lindy's Magicals. And then this is a stamp, um, a little swirl stamp from this set that actually says art and I've just randomly stamped it on the background. And that's the same, exactly the same background, but um, little stamp of a shell in wow embossing powder and some text from my dictionary there's fish there because uh, there is a very pale blue fish in the background you're probably not seeing any of this and then um these are the little paper dolls um as i said ella says she thinks they're scary she doesn't like them at all she doesn't like gorgeous girl either because she says she hasn't got a face <laughs> I love Gorgeous Girl. And anyway, I have put See the World on this one with the frontage. This is exactly the same as what I've just made. And this one here, Live Out Loud, again with a little family. So I hope you've enjoyed that, everybody. And I shall be back soon.